What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am giving you my 5 picks for a WWE 2K20 wish list. I'm going to be basically covering all of the things that I believe should be in the game to make it a must buy this year. The 2K games are practically rinse and repeat every single year they come out other than an updated roster and some custom new arenas. Um, but yeah, other than that, they add the My Career, some new moves, they give it little updates... But they never actually, or for years, they haven't given us anything big. Now, all of these things will literally, one of them will make it worth the purchase. So, I strongly believe that you guys will all agree with what I'm about to say. Um, they're all very, very strong points uh, that will go very, very good with the game. And a lot of you long-time players will understand where I'm coming from with most of these points. You'll be able to relate to a better time of the THQ days where we could do most of this stuff. Um, so a lot of this stuff has already been in previous games. And I just want it to come back. Um, so that's essentially, that's it. So let's get on with the list. It's in no particular order. It's just going from 1 to 5. And yeah, let's get into it. So, kicking things off, ladies and gentlemen, we have custom entrance music. Now, fans of the older WWE games made by THQ would be familiar with this, and even the current 2K games that were on the last-gen consoles also have this feature. So, what this is, is essentially, you can put music onto the game and use it as entrance music, victory music, your guy's music. And this is amazing. Smack Talk's done a really good YouTube video as to how this can work, linking it up to Spotify on the PS4. Um, and yeah, so that has to be in it, custom music, because I, for one, am tired of using main roster music for my custom character. And I'm sure that all of you are as well. Okay, so next up, we're sticking with creating entrance. Now, when a wrestler on TV, for example, Daniel Bryan, or currently, the most recent one, Mustafa Ali, updates their mini trons, their titan trons, whether that just be colour, whether that be whatever it is, it's outdated in the game, and like you see here, you have to scroll through. I'm, I'm using, for example, Jason Jordan, Cedric Alexander, Apollo Crews, and all of them green stuff. Now, what I pitch now is something different. Uh, so, we can actually import Titantrons, Minitrons, uh, stage ramps, all the different things from the WWE 2K Image Uploader website. Now, these have to be MP4, MOV files, what you would normally import into your PS4 if you were using something like Share Factory, and essentially they'll just go straight into your game, and it's literally what you can do on PC. Now, you guys that are familiar with the PC mods and stuff can see that people can actually put in completely new entrance graphics, and it's incredible. So, why do we on console have to miss out on that? Why can't 2K find a way for us to do it? We can keep updating our entrances. We can keep everything up to date how we like to have it. We don't have to faff around with inaccurate Titan Trons and everything. And we can do it the best possible way. So, importing custom Trons. The only other thing we could do is if they don't want to import the mini Trons and stuff, why not just give us generic ones of different colours? Um, that we can use. Just let us pick a colour and we'll use it. So that's if a wrestler changes their colour, we can just use a generic Minitron of a certain colour. Coming up next on my list, we have custom attires for custom wrestlers. Now, it's annoying because a normal wrestler can have so many custom attires, like you're seeing here with my Seth Rollins. I've got loads of attires for him. However, when you make a creator wrestler, you only get an option to do two attires, which is stupid. And I believe that 2K should add in an option, obviously just showing you here, you can only do two attires for each custom wrestler. I believe 2K should do an option where you can add a custom attire to a certain wrestler. You've got them guys out there like Kenny Omega that wear a different attire every time they appear. And the 2K community can't keep up with that, you've just got to pick two attires, your two favourites, to have Kenny wear. And it's not very fair. So, you've got other wrestlers out there, all the stock roster members, that you're never actually going to like make a custom attire for. And then, you've got the custom wrestlers that you want to make loads of attires for, but you can't. And that's why I feel like, just like the old, I remember they introduced it in WWE 12, but I think you could only have three attires. Um, all the custom wrestlers should be able to have different attires. Obviously, it will take up a custom attire slot, but... 
obviously they do that with the normal ones anyway so if you want to have a hundred Kenny Omega attires you can and yeah custom attires for custom wrestlers that's my next one I think it should have been added ages ago okay so next up on my list ladies and gentlemen is one that we've been asking to come back to the WWE games franchise for years we thought we got it with superstar heads we practically got halfway there we in 2k14 we could change the appearances of the bodies but couldn't actually add anything like hair now this custom appearances thing I've, obviously you can see i've got a creator wrestler bray wyatt here to show you what it would look like um but they used to do it in the old wwf games on like the ps2 so why is it not in the 2k games on the ps4 to be able to alter and change the appearance of a main roster wrestler not a custom wrestler a wrestler that's already in the game someone like baron corbin who shaved his head so you can make him bald or if you want to give him a bloody mohawk you can you know what i mean any hairstyle in the game should be open to any wrestler Randy Orton with shoulder length hair we've never seen it before why not do it in 2k you know what I mean it's one of them things that we can experiment with and we can just have loads more fun with it obviously you can give I don't know Daniel Bryan his bald look from Ring of Honor there's so many different periods of time that you can give a look for on a certain wrestler that isn't in the game like Cena you want to go back to his old OVW days with his crazy hairs and that you can so, of, or even current day Cena, you can give him, like, his new hairstyle. And other than that, tattoos. We shouldn't have to create a whole bodysuit like this custom Batista I downloaded here, which is amazing. We shouldn't have to create a whole bodysuit just to add custom tattoos. They should already be in the game. Wrestlers like Batista, Kevin Owens, they've come back to WWE. They've got loads more tattoos. We should be able to just straight up add them. I know this one isn't a big complaint because there is a way to bypass it, obviously, with the bodysuit. But we shouldn't have to do that. We should just be able to get it on. So, customising your wrestler's appearance, stick it on the list. Please, 2K. And my fifth and final one, Weapon Physics. The weapon physics in the 2K games are trash. Uh, if you try and put your opponent through a table from an angle, the table will just collapse. It's not good at all. The weapons and everything despawn. If I break a table, the table will despawn. Not realistic at all. How come the old THQ Smackdown vs Raw 2011 and that can all nail this, but the current games can't? I, if I should do a move on a steel steps, it should land. Look at WWE All-Stars. Hitting uh, Triple H with a crutch, the crutch mangles. Hitting Triple H with a chair, the chair mangles. This is how it should look. It's much more realistic. And for the fact that I'm calling All-Stars realistic, here's some Espacio Ninja footage just to show off how good the weapon physics are in the old games. 2K, take note. This is how it should be. Watch this Batista bomb. Right on the steps. I know you can do carry and drag, but that's not good enough. We should be able to do it in normal moves. All the tables you break should stay in the ring. It's simple physics. Try and make it more realistic. I do hope you all agreed with my list. Hopefully 2K will listen. But thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.